I feel like it's only the shit that's globalized. I really do. It's, it's you know, it's uh, Miley Cyrus, right? That's what gets around the world. Like Miley Cyrus. I feel like music has become just anything to get attention, you know? Like, like Lady Gaga had to wear a dress made out of meat, and Robin Thicke put out his pro-date rape blurred line song, and Miley Cyrus morphed into some sort of half-naked, meth-addled alien creature with an elongated tongue. She looks like Axl Rose to early years. <laughs> finally answers that question, what would Axl Rose look like twerking? And no, you can't unhear that sentence. Really, it's, it, 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 she's testing my ability to like freedom. It's, <laughs> it's, it, if you've never seen a Miley Cyrus performance, don't watch it, all right? It'll haunt your nightmares. So I'm gonna describe it in detail. If a great musical performance is, is, is like a cornucopia with a million different sensations and uh, smells and senses, then, then a Miley Cyrus performance is like the sweaty ass crack of an obese man on a 12 hour flight farting asbestos. All right. It's uncomfortable to witness and then later you may think you have mesothelioma. If a great musical performance is like the lovemaking of two star-crossed lovers, a lovemaking so pure that each memory cannot encapsulate the whole, like trying to grab a dazzling, raging river with your hands, then a Miley Cyrus performance <laughs> is like a depressed, flaccid penis that smells of deceased swamp frogs pressed against your face every day for 50 years. I know. <laughs> if true talent is a sculptor who's able to take a faceless piece of marble and turn it into a, to a, to a gorgeous fair maiden, a skill that itself took thousands and thousands of thankless hours to hone and perfect, then a Miley Cyrus performance is like taking that faceless piece of marble, using it to dash out the brains of a baby sheep, recording that animal's death cries, auto-tuning them, and playing them in place of the national anthem before an ultimate fighting championship between two unwilling participants. <laughs> Years ago, before Miley Cyrus was even born, there was a comedian named Bill Hicks who had a joke, right? He had a joke about how we should have a TV show called Let's Hunt Down and Kill Billy Ray Cyrus. Now, not listening to that advice, I rank it up there with Hitler not getting into art school. In terms of ultimate harm done to humanity. But that's... that's